good morning in a series of videos that we have been launching this is another video which is meant for all the students writing their class 10th and 12th board exams and this is not only for the students this video is meant for the parents as well though cbse has made tremendous effort in reaching out to parents and students in trying to educate them about the privileges that cbse has given to the students and the duties of the candidates or the students who write the exams at various centers to take this work further and over last few uh, weeks i realized that still there are a lot of students who need help in understanding what are the rights what are their rights as a candidate and what are their privileges and what are their duties and uh, parents are also requested to watch this video video because you have to on a daily basis remind children to follow these guidelines so that they do not find any sort of challenge at the examination center so first of all i'll talk about the privileges that cbsc has provided to all the students if any student has got special education needs or there is a candidate with benchmark disabilities CBSC has provided the facility of a scribe. You are not able to write your answers, you will be provided a scribe. You are not able to read a paper, you will be provided a scribe. You have any medical condition, you will be provided a scribe. But the only condition is that you will have to take timely permission from the CBSC board through your school with a proper medical certification certified by a medical practitioner no less than a, a surgeon or a person who is authorized to do that to be certifying that yes this is your medical condition and you need the services of a scribe not only that children cbse also provides extra time to the students who have benchmark disabilities or who fall under the category of special need students but the only thing is this action has to be taken well in advance you have to approach the cbse through your school with the proper medical certification from a med authorized medical practitioner and with your this kind uh, disability certificate so this is one the facility of a scribe and the other facility that i talked about is the provision of extra time which ranges from 1 hour to 45 minutes to half an hour depending upon the duration of the paper for 3 hours paper you can even get the extension of time uh, by 1 hour so that means you will get total of 4 hours to write your paper if the paper is for the other candidates meant to be finished in 3 hours plus 15 minutes of reading time so this was one another very uh, important thing which everybody needs to know that sometimes there are children who are in a normal category who do not have any benchmark disability but unfortunately due to uh, some emergency due to some contingency they meet with an accident or they fall sick or they develop a medical condition or a situation which was out of their control and they find it difficult to write their papers so in such cases also you can approach cbsc uh, the the at the time of the occurrence of the incident definitely through your school and the school will approach the cbsc to provide you the facilities like the facility of a scribe or a reader or even if you have issues you can even be given a computer to write your exam or the extension of time there are different facilities which cbsc has provided depending upon the condition and if you are not able to approach you approach your uh, school you can even approach the center superintendent who is uh, where you are writing your exam so these facilities could be provided to you another important facility which uh, cbsc has provided for the children if you are a diabetic candidate if you have a uh, requirement a medical need where you need to eat your meals or small little food in between the exams cbsc has given permission to various centers to allow such students to carry their food and their medication along with them to the examination hall but again the prerequisite is that you are required to uh, approach the cbsc give your medical certificates duly signed by the authorized medical practitioner and take a written permission from cbsc well in advance 
and if uh, this this condition has occurred all of a sudden which was not existing still cbsc is very accommodating and you can still approach cbsc and these facilities would be provided to you with the help of your school or through your center superintendent again the most important facility provided by cbsc is when it comes to the selection of a scribe you have the choice to take the scribe from the school or you can even bring your own scribe the only condition is that the scribe has to be one class junior than the class for which you are writing your board exam supposing aap class 10th mein hain aur aapko ek scribe ki zarurat hai to aapko class 9th ka bachcha scribe ke roop mein mil jayega aap class 12th ka board exam likh rahe hain to aapko class 11th ka bachcha jo abhi class 11th mein pad raha hai wo scribe ke roop mein mil jayega to help you write your papers so this is what uh, cbsc has provided then the center provides you drinking water you don't have to worry about carrying your water bottles center also uh, provides you help in the form of um, uh, you you are you're not feeling too well then uh, you can carry your medicines and uh, medicines can be kept in the examination hall with the invigilator and you can consume it or take it as and when it is required so these were some of the facilities which cbsc has provided to the student so when you are in distress when you are in need when you are in such a situation my only request is don't panic talk about it talk to your school talk to your teachers talk to your center superintendent approach cbsc and make use of these facilities because their ultimate aim of the entire education system and cbsc is to help children write their exams in a comfortable manner and is to provide children as much help as is possible within the laid down procedures and norms now coming to the duties of the candidates because we have some rights we also have duties rights and duties go hand in hand so i am repeating it once again that you have to reach the examinees examination center well in advance please do not be late so that you do not face any sort of difficulty the entry into the examination center starts uh, from 9 o'clock but the entry into the examination room starts only at 9:45 pm and cbsc has given very strict instructions that no entry to the examination center will be allowed after 10 am so my request to all the candidates and the parents is to reach the children half an hour 20 minutes in advance and wait outside and relax uh, outside the examination center then children again i am repeating kindly carry transparent pouch so that uh, again everything is seen through your pouches do not get tempted to use or do anything which you are not supposed to do like carrying your any gadgets or mobile electronic devices to the examination center and very important please use only blue ball point pen to write your exams no other color is allowed and um, when you get your answer sheet in the first 15 minutes you get your answer sheets most important thing count the pages of the answer sheet it should not happen that you find later on the pages are missing 32 pages should be there you should count all the pages so that you all the pages are there otherwise you would have written half the answers in your answer sheet and later if you realize one of the pages is missing then it is a cause of concern it will unnecessarily put you in a distressed situation again very important thing when you get your question paper please see that the question paper subject is meant for you the question paper is for you though it is checked at every level there are hardly any chances of getting a wrong paper but it is your duty as well to check that you have got the right question paper of the right subject right code and right uh, class especially in uh, uh, in subjects like hindi where you have hindi a you have hindi b similarly you have it and you have computer science it is very very important that you check the subject code and the subject before you begin to attempt uh, writing your answers so these are some important points though all, all your school and your teachers have already discussed with you but it is a human nature we tend to slip slip out so we tend to uh, forget so i thought i would just drop in a small reminder again for you and your parents keep working hard god bless you all thank you so much